My name is uh, Pat Donnelly. I'm the president for Smiley Finance. Looks like I got a good crowd here. Um, we started this company about three years ago. And uh, at that time, uh, as a lot of you probably were well aware, uh, mining was just in a horrible situation. And our founder, uh, Keith Newmeyer, who also founded First Majestic Silver and First Quantum Minerals, was convinced that it was a great opportunity to go out and acquire highly undervalued but high quality assets. So we put that company together in early 2015. In a period of just over 13 months, we uh, completed eight transactions and added 12 assets to our portfolio. And now we have 25 assets in various jurisdictions, various stages in North America focusing on gold. And now we're starting to move some of these assets forward to show the market that they're highly viable. Uh, forward-looking statement, I will be making some forward-looking statements. So what is the mineral bank strategy? As I mentioned before, we went out, we took advantage of our broken market, we we're buying assets for less than $8 an ounce in the ground and putting them into our portfolio. Right now, we're moving some of these assets forward. We've been drilling, we've been doing economic studies, metallurgy, resource estimates, permitting, and we're gonna advance some of these assets forward. Um, going forward, we're gonna see a major supply shortage of gold. The major mining companies are running out of reserves and resources. They will be coming back into the market. They will be making deals, and we're gonna be right there for waiting for them. So we'll unlock value either through joint ventures, spin outs, um, sales, and maybe if we have to, we'll put one or two of these assets in the production and unlock value for our shareholders. And ultimately, the goal is to produce a dividend for our shareholders. Cash is king. That's what shareholders want. And that's the plan long term. My background, uh, I'm a geologist. But I also used to be a mining analyst. And I did that for about four years. One thing I learned in this business is mining is probably the most risky uh, business out there. And because of that, you don't just need good at management, you need outstanding at management. And so one thing I learned when I was value, uh, valuing uh, equities is that management is really, really critical. And the reason I came over is because of one man, Keith Newmeyer, because he gets it done. He's created value for his shareholders. He's created $2 billion companies. And so if I'm gonna leave any message with you is I always bet on the jockey, not on the horse. And Keith is one of the best in the business. Chris Osterman is our CEO and director. He's a mine engineer. He's also a geologist, so he handles the technical aspects of the company, incredible experience. And then my background, as I said before, I'm a geologist, but I also have a finance background. And I was an analyst for four years, so uh, I've been around the block a few times in this business. And we're a very, very strong uh, team. And I'd say we're one, I, 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 don't, I usually don't like to toot my own horn, in this case I will, and I think we're one of the best management teams out there. Just showing you our track record or a very short period of time, when we put this company together in 2015, people were telling us we were crazy. We put our heads down, and in a very short period of time, we pulled off eight transactions and added 12 assets to our portfolio. If we like something, we go for it. When we were buying assets for less than $8 an ounce in the ground. So again, if we like something, it's a good quality asset, and it's accretive, we'll pull the trigger. And, and I don't know anybody else that has this kind of track record of getting things done. If I'm gonna leave one thing with you or another thing with you, is that we're highly undervalued. And just put into perspective, our spring pole project, we did an economic study on that just a couple months ago. It had a net present value after tax of 800 million US, which is over a billion dollars Canadian. And just to put that in perspective, our market cap right now is around 300 million Canadian. And then that gives no value to our other assets like Goldland which has 2.3 million ounces, like Cameron, which has a million ounces, like Hope Brook, which is a million ounces, or Pickle Crow's a million ounces. So we're incredibly undervalued. And we, we're close to our 52-week low right now. We got cash. We're moving things forward. So right now is an incredible opportunity to get involved in a story that's, been, that's, that's headed by Keith Newmeyer. We're cashed up, we're liquid, and we know what we're doing. And so it's a great opportunity to take advantage of that valuation. Just look at our portfolio. We're all over, oh, that was a pointer here. We're all over Canada, United States, and Mexico. Uh, we're focusing specifically on Canada. Uh, I am a Canadian, uh, but I will say this. I think Canada, specifically Eastern Canada, is one of the best mining jurisdictions in the world to do business. Canadians have mining in their blood. It, the the permitting system's straightforward. The skill set's there. The Canadian dollar's favorable. Canada is a mining country. And in a world that's getting way more difficult to mine, 
You go to places like Guatemala or in Tanzania or Greece or Russia or many other jurisdictions are becoming way more difficult now. Canada remains a shining light in the industry as a place to do business. I'm not going to go through all 25 of our assets, but I will go through our, our high quality ones, specifically Springpole, Goldland, and then I'll touch on Cameron and Pickle Crow and Hope Brook. But the main assets I want you to focus on are Springpole and Goldland. Northern Ontario, it's near Red Lake. Red Lake is one of the most prolific gold producing regions in the world. That's where Gold Corp started. You can ask Rob McEwen, that's his backyard. Other projects being put in production, Rainy River, and Goliath projects being moved forward. So again, a great, great, stable, mining friendly jurisdiction. Spring Pole, we just put out an economic study about uh, in September, 5 million ounces, one of the largest gold deposits in North America at a gram, good infrastructure. There's power and roads nearby. Very friendly, we, we, we have a very positive dialogue with the First Nations people, the Indigenous people, and I hope to have some news on that before the end of the year. And as I said before, we just updated the economic study. Uh, we were using uh, $1,300 gold, and the economics were outstanding. Post-tax IRR of 26%, let me put that into context. The major mining gold companies, their threshold is 15% after tax IRR. We have 26%. It's going to produce about 300,000 ounces a year of gold at a cash cost of $600 an ounce. If I bake everything into this thing, capex, opex, taxes, royalties, everything, it's $800 an ounce. If I throw $1,000 gold at this thing, the after tax IRR is 14%. It is a very robust economic project and we're very excited about it. And that's why we're moving ahead with permitting and we're also going to move ahead with, pre, with a pre-feasibility study. This is a quality asset that's going to be highly desired by the major mining companies going forward. Goldland, another high quality asset. Northern Ontario, fantastic infrastructure. We don't even have a camp. We stay at a fishing lodge down the highway. We're paying $100 per man per day for food and lodging. Our drilling costs are uh, under $200 uh, a meter. So again, great jurisdiction has 2.3 million ounces at about a gram and a half. We're currently drilling there. We've drilled about 130 uh, holes there, 28,000 meter uh, drilling campaign, and we're moving this thing forward. And again, it open pit underground. Eventually we'll do an uh, a resource estimate next year, and the goal is to get this to the preliminary economic assessment level. Again, a very, very high quality asset. See these people there in that picture? They're all First Nations, 14 of them. We had them working and they did a fantastic job. So we really work hard to engage the community and get community support because that is now critical nowadays in the mining industry. Some drilling at, uh, results, you know, 200 meters of 1.39 grams, 64 meters of 3.25, 175 of 1.13, outstanding results. This is our infill portion of the program, the first 24,000 meters, 87 out of 100 holes had mineralization. Good mineralization, economic mineralization. So again, we're very, very excited about Goldland. The other thing I want you to take away is there has been no major discoveries in a long time. All the easy gold deposits have been found. I know because I used to be a geologist looking for gold deposits. And yet billions of dollars have been spent. The major mining companies are not replacing their ounces. They're going to have to come to the table. At the end of this decade, we're going to see resources and production start to really fall off. And the major mining companies are going to have to come to the table and do deals. But we're going to be sitting there ready for them to create value for our shareholders. We got 17 million in cash that should last us the next 18 to 24 months. We're very liquid. Market loves liquidity. Uh, market cap of around 300 million uh, Canadian. And uh, on, on the T we're on the TSX and the, uh, on the OTC. And, and most of our shareholders are, are, are honest, hardworking, salt of the earth retail people who are our bread and butter, who are very, very supportive. The institutional is growing. We're getting a lot more traction institutional and we're starting to get more analysts and we're, and we're continuing to move the story forward. Come on. Creating value going forward, joint ventures, earnings, equity positions, royalties. And, and, in, and in some cases, if we have to, we'll move these assets all the way to production and create value for our shareholders. And just to wrap it up, again, I always bet on the jockey. I always look at management teams. And some of the best management teams at this conference, 
Keith Newmeyer is one of them. He's always delivered. Large and diversified portfolio, quality assets in a stable mining jurisdiction. We're liquid. The market loves liquidity. We're very, very aggressive. If we like something, we will pull the trigger. We're adding low cost value. I'm a geologist, so I'm a little bit biased. The best way to add value is with the drill bit, adding ounces, advancing assets, de-risking them, and adding value to our shareholders. And we're, we're coming into a perfect storm for gold, and we're gonna be ready for that. The, the, all the major mining companies will be pulling the trigger. They need ounces, and the fundamentals of gold have never been better, and we're gonna be in a great position to capitalize on that. And I'll leave it at that, and we have a booth here, so feel free to come say hi to me, or Derek, or Lily, and thank you for your time, and this is a great conference.